Now we go into the bigger apartment, the, the last compartment in here. Okay, and this one here, this was another weight thing that I just wasn't sure about, but... Alright. I have got a condomere trap, which was the weight, I mean, I don't think it's more than a pound, I don't, not even a pound, but... Yeah. I just think that would be really handy. And this is a heavy duty fishing, well, I don't know what they're called, mm. stringer. Mm. But it would also be great if you wanted to wash clothes, put it between the trees, hang your clothes on these to dry. It's a real heavy duty one. And I've got, I believe, 10 uh, pre made snares for snaring rabbits and stuff like that. That's my little trapping thing. Oh, I missed the egg. Okay. Let's just do it this way. A hooded poncho. I've got a mosquito head net, and I think that is very important. You and I have been out where we had to wear them to sleep that night. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a little LED lantern here. I uh, took the batteries out because it came on when it was in there. Here's the batteries right here. Um, Oh, water purification. I've got a, a safety blanket, a roll of this real thin, like a painter's type plastic. Uh, could come in handy for over a lean-to or something like that. Uh, I've got some 40% deep mosquito spray, compass, headlamp, and I've got a knife right here. So I've got a few knives, but I don't think you can really have enough of those. And this is my little water purification bag. And in here I have, this just is a little plastic container. Actually what this did hold in it before was, uh, what is it, the eye cleaner. I don't have contacts, but the kids do and the wife does. Um, and when I put bleach in here and I wrote on there how many drops per quart. You, know, you need two drops per quart, eight drops per gallon, you know, double it if it's dirty. I got that in there. I've got just the regular potable water tablets. These are just coffee filters. I figure if you're going to purify the water, it just doesn't get down to a micron level that gets any of the bacteria out. But any solid pieces, anything quite small, because these things, you know, they drain pretty slow. Um, I'll use these, and then from there I can go to this or this or boil it, whatever we need to do. So. That's the water thing that I've got. Let's set that there. Oh, this goes with the fishing kit. Um, it wouldn't fit in there, but uh, Zach has a video on this. This is the Berkeley Gulp uh, Pretend Worms, and these are the Power Mate Crappie Bites. We went out and tried to fish with these today. I don't know if the fish weren't biting or anything, but we didn't catch one thing, so we'll see what happens there. We're going to try it again. I mean, it's very early spring right now, and we'll try it again with regular worms and go against it and see how that works. Okay, and here, I don't know what I have. Okay, here, this is my little tool thing. I got this little shovel that Zach found. Walmart. Yep, Walmart. It's cheap. I mean, it's a good little shovel to have. Needle nose pliers. I've got some zip ties. Uh, black tape. And this plastic container could be used for something. And then all I have these little screwdrivers in here, and uh, they go inside of here, but it's got every size little screwdriver, and I don't know what you're going to need that for, but I just, you might. And then, these little tiny wrench set. Just in case, if you found something in the woods that you needed to use and take apart, and you could use a part on it, well, we have a little bit of tools anyway. There. Okay. So this bag here, which I debated with it, it's weight that I didn't really need, and Zach had brought up uh, maybe buying some stuff that's a little bit lighter. This is just a nut, one change of clothes. i got a change of clothes. I've got a sweatshirt, a pair of long johns, a pair of jeans, uh, a long sleeve, but um, not a thick shirt t-shirt, socks, and a pair of underwear. So, and I think that this could definitely be brought down weight-wise, but I just couldn't see going out there without 
at least you know one more set of clothes so when you do wash the ones you have on, at least you've got something to wear when they're drying. Oh, I've got the old mess kit. Regular mess kit. We all know what they are. It's a heavy duty version. Of that. This is a nice one here. But it did not come with a cup in this one, so somewhere in here. I've got a metal cup so I can boil water right on the fire if I need to. Oh, another bag. I'm sure this one is. Okay, this is just uh, toiletries, bathroom stuff, soap, toothbrush, deodorant, toothpaste, uh, hand sanitizer, a little towel, shampoo, uh, dental floss, and more shampoo. That's that. This was another weight issue I wasn't sure about because I've got the, the thing with the plastic, but this is a, a 8x12, I believe, or 8x10 tarp. And I just think that if it was really rainy and crappy out, this would be really handy. Hatchet. Got to have a hatchet with a hammer on it. You're going to have to cut something. Last thing in my bag here. Just gotta be careful taking this out. Is fishing pole, and then this will hook up to it, and I can actually cast from shore to catch some fish. So I don't know if this was all needed and everything, but I think this is going to be really nice. And I believe that is everything that is in my bug all day. Thanks for suffering through that. Now we are going to look at Zachers. All right. Well, now that you've seen all of my dead stuff, it's time for me to show you guys what's in my bug out bag. First of all, just a um, sleeping bag. Underneath here I have a, a 6x5 Junior Dome tent. Pick it up at Walmart. Just something real small that I can stay in. I still fit into it, so there's just enough room. On the front pocket I got here, I have a small amount of medical supplies like Dayquil, Tylenol, um, Tums. I have one dust mask in case you were to come into contact with people. I have, this is my practice flint steel and this is my real one that if I had to use in a, uh, in a situation I'd use this one. It's never been used. Other On the same little clip here I have a knife a whistle and a small little light. In this pouch, I have a um, pocket knife, matches. These are not the waterproof ones either. And a lighter. And this is some more of that um, bleach. Oh, the bleach for the fire? Yeah, it's a small yep. off. And it has a Velcro pocket in here. In the Velcro pocket, I have a map, a small six-inch ruler, a compass. What's the map of? The all of Minnesota. All oh, of Minnesota map. Okay. Yeah. And then I have uh, two highlighters, so I can know where I'm going. I think I also have a little pencil in there too. And that's this whole pocket. Inside here, I have another compass, headlamp. Is this the one that has the uh, uh, magnifying glass on it? Yep. Yeah, so you can start a fire with the magnifying glass? Yeah. And I also have batteries for, uh, I have a lantern, a small lantern like my dad showed you, and um, flashlights too, and some spare batteries. In this pocket, this is kind of the bulk stuff. Emergency blanket, rain poncho, head net, which, like you said, I should take off the cardboard, and a first aid kit, which I've actually put some stuff in there, like 
some gloves and more bandage and stuff. So that's these two pockets. On the side pocket here, I have just tons of string. Uh, I probably wouldn't need this much normally, but I've been making bracelets, so you guys can check out that video. That's why I have it in there right now. Now I get to go to my name.